nobody quite like you Got me falling through and through Straight to the top I'm tumbling My roller coaster's rumbling Can you please Be focused boo Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm gonna be doing a Instagram baddie like Tumblr makeup type video Don't really know, not an Instagram baddie but I've been seeing these videos going around for quite a while now and I've wanted to do one for ages because I never really do dramatic eyes like on my channel I've never really done many dramatic makeup looks and this is also in collaboration with Anna Rose I think that's her channel name now I know she used to be Vintage Cherries but I think I think her channel name is Anna Rose now so yeah make sure to check out her channel because she is so so lovely and yeah I just absolutely love her channel and I just I think she deserves loads more subscribers. Uh, make sure to check out her channel. I'll put her in my end card as well, but in the little like circle subscribe thing that you click on. So I'll make sure to put her in there and also all her links in the description and all that. And let's just get started. So starting off, I'm just gonna put this cat ear headband in my hair just to hold my hair out of my face. I have already done my eyebrows off camera because every single time I do my eyebrows on camera, which is hardly ever, but when I do it, I always mess up and I, I don't normally do my eyebrows like this, but they're a bit more bold for the purpose of this sort of theme of the tutorial. So I'm starting with eyeshadow today and I am going to be using the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. It actually smells like I didn't think it would smell that good but it smells amazing and all the colours in here like I absolutely love so I think I'm going to go for quite a smoky look because I think that's quite like Instagram baddie I don't know I don't really know what I'm saying but <laughs> I guess so I'm probably going to stick to more of these sort of shades over this side of the palette ra oh, you can't see over this side of the palette rather than this side so yeah so if you're anything like me and a rubbish at eyeliner and eyeshadow, I would recommend putting some tape on the, like if you're going for a really like bold, dramatic eye. Before I start the eyeshadow, I'm just gonna take this Maybelline Color Tattoo in, what shade is this? Oh, Creme de Rose. And it's sort of like a skin colour, so I can use this as an eyeshadow primer. So, and I'm just going to set that down with a bit of powder. So I'm just going to use some of the Rimmel True Match powder. And I'm just going to set that so that the eyeshadow stays better. So to start off, I'm going to be taking the shade Puree, which is this one down here. As this is just a nice warm toned colour, so I'm going to use this as a transition colour. Now that that's all blended in, I'm just going to be taking the shade Summer Yum, which is a little bit darker than Puree and it's a bit more like ready toned I'd say, and I'm going to like deepen the crease. Then I'm going to take the shade Just Peachy, which is this like pink shimmer at the top here, and I'm going to put that all over the lid. prettiest eyeshadow colour I've ever used. Now I'm going to be a bit risky and take the shade Delectable, I think that's how you say it. And it's this one just here which is like purple colour and I'm going to put that sort of on the outer corner and blend it into just peachy. Then I'm going to take the shade Talk Derby to me. I think I just said that like totally wrong. Oh my god that's going to make me laugh. Um, and it's this one here, which is this like bluey, how would you describe that? It's like blue with like purple shimmer in it. And I'm gonna make that um, purple color just a little bit darker there. I'm just gonna take my Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush, which I actually use to just blend everything in, as it's quite big, and just blend all of that crease color sort of together. And finally, with just this like Ted Baker brush, I'm going to be taking the colour Bellini, I think. Do I take Bellini? Yeah, I'm going to take the colour Bellini, which is this one here, which is sort of like a peachy, goldy, champagne shimmer colour. And I'm going to try and put that, try? I'm going to put that in the inner corner. 
Secondly, I'm going to take the colour Nectar, which is this one here, and I'm going to put that on my brow bone just to highlight it. So now I'm going to be taking my eyeliner, and I normally use the Extreme 24 Hour Felt Tip Liner by Collection, and I'm going to try and do my eyeliner. I might do this off camera, but I'm going to try. Okay, I'm gonna do this the rest of this off on off bleh, off camera. So I I'm sorry but I just can't do eyeliner on camera. So I'm gonna take out I'm gonna take this tape off. <gasps> what uh soft coal I've had this for ages. Soft coal eye pencil by Rimmel. I've had this for so so long. I'm just gonna put that in my lower lash line. This looks so disgusting. <laughs> And then I'm going to apply mascara, so I'm going to be using the Benefit Roller Lash and the Their Real Mascara over the top. So for primer, I'm first going to be taking the MAC Prep and Prime and I'm just going to spray that all over my face. And that will also hold in the eyeshadow as well. And then I'm also going to be taking the NYX Shine Killer, so I'm just going to wait for that to soak into my face a bit more. And then I like to use this because I have really oily skin, so this really, it actually is amazing how much it like mattifies your skin. So then I'm going to go in for foundation, so I'm going to be using my everyday foundation, and uh, it's the L'Oreal True Match foundation in the shade ivory I think I don't think this is the lightest shade I don't know but probably one of the lighter shades just take the collection last perfection concealer and just highlight under my eyes and cover any sort of blemishes or anything I have. Once I look like a ghost, I'm going to cream contour today, so I'm going to be using this, what's I'm going to be using this sleek makeup cream contour kit in probably in the shade light if there is a shade yeah it's the shade light um and yeah i never i never really use um the highlight shades i just don't find them very good but in and i don't really use cream highlight anyway but for this i'm going to be using i normally go for this shade because i find this one's quite orangey toned whereas this one's darker but it's more ashy toned so i'm going to be taking this color here taking this vanity planet brush which brush brush which is quite like a thin brush which I find really easy to get into like all the bits you want to contour bear in mind I don't really um what do you call it cream contour so this could go really badly I'm gonna do my temples because I don't really need to do my whole forehead because I don't think I've got a very big forehead so I don't think I'm going to do that just get confused on when you do a jawline I feel like it just gives me a sort of foundation line so yeah I'm going to use this little tiny Vanity Planet brush to contour my nose because I just think it'll be a bit easier super crazy I'm just gonna blend that out with my um, what do you call this real techniques expert face brush I'm then going to sort of set everything so for contour, I'm going to set it with the 
Huda bronzer and then I'm gonna try and bake but I don't have any like powder like a sheer powder thing which I really I really want to get like the Laura Mercier one but I'm like got no money at the moment so I'm gonna be using this <laughs> which is the Johnson's baby powder um don't know how this is gonna go but I've seen people use it and supposedly it's even better than setting powders so I'm gonna try that and try and bake for the first time in my life I think coming out. Um, oh, just that not reason why. <laughs> Gotta open it, Megan. You've seen this NYX. Oh my god, I've got. Oh my god, I've got pins and needles on my left foot. Not okay. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this NYX Beauty Blender, and it's got like a flat side, so I think that's gonna be really handy to like bake with. I'm gonna try and bake like down here and try and make the contour really sharp and. So I'm going to leave that for about three to four minutes. I'm going to go and clean this and I will be back. So I'm going to be taking, for highlight, I'm going to be taking this Moonchild Anastasia Glow Kit for Pink Heart. Just because I've gone for quite a pink look, so I think it will work. And for lips, I'm just going to be taking the next laundry lipstick in 08 so i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below and tell me if you like these sort of more chatty videos i don't know how chatty this is gonna be like how much i'm gonna like keep stuff in but i don't normally do chatty videos so yeah, let me down below if you want me to do more chatty makeup tutorial videos and also what other videos you want to see for my spring type videos. Got loads planned and I'm really, really excited to start doing them because I just love spring videos. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to go now because I keep on talking. So yeah, bye. With my pretty little Galway girl